Hey tribe, welcome back. A recent 6.8 magnitude earthquake was reported in Japan. The recent 6.8 magnitude earthquake struck off the coast of southwestern Japan on January 13, 2025. Fortunately, the tsunami warnings that were initially issued have since been lifted. The last devastating tsunami to hit California occurred on March 28, 1964. It was triggered by a massive 9.2 magnitude earthquake off the coast of Alaska. This tsunami caused significant damage, particularly in Crescent City, where waves reached heights of up to 6.7 meters or 22 feet and resulted in the loss of 13 lives. The most recent significant tsunami event in California was related to the 2011 Tohoku earthquake in Japan, which had a magnitude of 9.1. This earthquake generated a tsunami that traveled across the Pacific Ocean, causing damage to California's coastal areas, including harbors and ports. Let's look at the potential impact of earthquakes in Japan on California. Earthquakes in Japan, especially those occurring offshore, can indeed trigger tsunamis that travel across the Pacific Ocean and affect coastal areas in California. Here's a brief explanation of the correlation first. Tectonic activity. Japan is located along the Pacific Ring of Fire, where several tectonic plates meet. This region is prone to significant seismic activity, including undersea earthquakes that can generate tsunamis. Second, tsunami generation. When a large earthquake occurs under the ocean, it can displace a massive amount of water, creating tsunami waves. These waves travel across the ocean at high speeds. Third, impact on California tsunami waves originating from Japan can reach the west coast of the United States, including California, within hours. For example, the 2011 Tohoku earthquake in Japan generated a tsunami that caused significant damage to California's coastal harbors and ports. While it's challenging to predict the exact magnitude and timing of future earthquakes, understanding these mechanisms helps in preparing for potential tsunamis. California has implemented various measures and plans to mitigate the impact of such events, learning from past experiences like the 2011 Tohoku tsunami. Preparing for a tsunami involves several important steps to ensure your safety and the safety of your loved ones. Here are some key measures you can take. First, know your risk. If you live in or visit a coastal area, find out if you are in a tsunami hazard zone. Local authorities often provide maps and information about evacuation routes. Second, create an emergency plan. Develop a family emergency plan that includes meeting places and communication strategies. Make sure everyone knows the evacuation routes and practices them regularly. Third, build an emergency kit. Prepare an emergency kit with essential supplies such as water, non-perishable food, a flashlight, batteries, a first aid kit, medications, important documents, and cash. Keep a kit at home, work, and in your car. Fourth, stay informed. Sign up for local emergency alerts and know the natural signs of a tsunami, such as a strong earthquake, a sudden rise or fall in sea level, or a loud roar from the ocean. Fifth, evacuate immediately. If you experience any of the natural signs of a tsunami or receive an official warning, move quickly to higher ground or inland. Do not wait for an official alert. Sixth, educate yourself and others. Learn more about tsunamis and share this knowledge with your family and community. Understanding the risks and knowing what to do can save lives. By taking these steps, you can be better prepared to respond effectively in the event of a tsunami. Recognizing the natural signs of a tsunami can be crucial for your safety. Here are some key indicators. First, strong earthquake. If you feel a strong earthquake that lasts for 20 seconds or more, it could be a sign that a tsunami may follow. Second, sudden sea level changes. A rapid and unusual rise or fall in sea level can indicate an approaching tsunami. This may expose the ocean floor, reefs, and fish. Third, loud ocean roar. An approaching tsunami can create a loud roaring sound, similar to a train or jet engine. If you notice any of these signs, it's important to move to higher ground or inland immediately and stay there until it's safe. Don't wait for official warnings if you observe these natural indicators. Stay safe and informed. To all our California family, our thoughts are with your safety. LeVan Media. Our giveaway prizes will be picked today and announced next week. Good luck.
Yay! 111 subscribers! Let's make our way to 1,000!